Hi there, I'm Marek Hansel, the editor of Institution of Real Estate Europe. And this month I'd like to draw your attention to four particular articles in the January 2022 issue of Institutional Real Estate Europe. Uh, the first is called Coming of Age by Bobby Barnett, a partner at property consultancy Gerald Eve. Um, the article covers the residential market in the UK and asks whether UK bill to rent is at an allocation of tipping points. Um, if you want to find out a bit more about that subject, I've also um, recently conducted a podcast uh, with my colleague Mike Consul, uh, which is up on our website, irei.com, which delves into the subject a bit more. Um, but essentially, the past decade has been a period of steady growth for the UK built to rent sector, and it's now moved to a very interesting balancing point. So the article looks at that and asks um, how much growth there is uh, possible to uh, take place in BTR uh, in the UK. Uh, the second feature is by Miriam Esdes, who is ESG Group Officer and Sustainable Real Estate Manager for Freo Group, that's F-R-E-O Group. <clears throat> uh, the article is called Green is the New Black and argues that sustainable real estate is the only option if investments are to last in portfolios uh, by the looks of things. Um, some have started to voice concerns that the boom in green assets is now forming a bubble uh, to rival those that led to the dot-com and subprime mortgage crashes. Um, and actually, the Bank of International Settlements has, has noted that the, um, the scale of growth in ESG funds is comparable with the private label mortgage-backed securities uh, that um, ballooned before the 2008 financial crisis, before the GFC. Um, and, and meanwhile, within a week of uh, COP26, a group of banks and asset managers led by HSBC had already started lobbying to dilute the targets for the banking industry to wind down the financing of polluting businesses. Um, so, so that risk of greenwashing rhetoric means that um, additional scrutiny um, has entered the conversation when it comes to sustainable investments. Um, does this mean that investors need to backpedal on their enthusiasm for green assets when it comes to real estate? Well, according to uh, Miriam Esdes, the short answer is no. Going green with your real estate portfolio is the only thing to do if the asset is going to retain its appeal with investors. Uh, the next piece is by Axel Vesperman. Head of Real Estate at Universal Investments, and it's called Rethinking Niche. And Axel says that ignoring alternative sectors is a dangerous game as they are now um, being increasingly viewed as, as mainstream asset classes, with a growing number of investors preferring to invest in secure assets rather than riskier opportunities. It appears um, sort of contradictory to dismiss asset classes such as uh, healthcare, senior living, uh, when in fact they offer similar security to traditional mainstream core properties. <clears throat> um, and so Axel argues that the dichotomy between established asset classes and niche ac asset classes, especially in the difficult period we're in now, is, is kind of outdated now really. And finally, in another feature, Valerie Falcone, head of uh, value add investing at Bearings Real Estate, um, argues that now is the time to explore value add opportunities. So that's our January issue. So what's in the next issue, February 2022? Well, there's an examination of the self-storage market in Europe, another look at uh, fast-moving changes in, in ESG, and a bit of a look, look at what we can expect in, to happen in uh, 2022. That's assuming that we don't run into any more black swan events, that is. Mm -hmm.